Hi everyone, welcome to another NextWeave tutorial. This video is all about running and managing NextWeave campaigns. So if you're new to NextWeave, we would recommend that you familiarize yourself with the video and image template and libraries before you watch this video. So let's jump right into NextWeave campaigns. All right, so NextWeave campaigns are actually the process in NextWeave by which you can uh, make the templates that you create, which is your personalized images and videos, compatible to use with other platforms outside of NextWeave. So through the campaign process, you'll generate codes or links for these images and videos compatible with your choice of marketing platform, chat platform, so on and so forth. So NextWeave allows you to run three types of campaigns, namely quick campaigns, bulk link campaigns and URL override campaigns. Let's get started with quick campaigns. A quick campaign can be launched for any one template directly from the template library. In addition to that, it's not just available for templates that you create on your own, but can also be launched for NextWeave provided templates that are hosted within the public libraries. Click on the menu against the template and then select use. On this use page, you can test the template out for different variable values. Just change these values for the variables on the right hand side and then click on test to generate a preview link. Once you're happy with the outcome, you can scroll down to find the quick campaign button. To launch the quick campaign, type in a name for the quick campaign and then click on the button to confirm. As you can see, an embed code or URL as well as a JavaScript corresponding to this template is immediately generated. And these can be easily copied and pasted onto an external platform. Now that you're familiar with quick campaigns, let's take a look at the remaining two campaign types, bulk link campaign and the URL override campaign. Both the bulk link and the URL override campaigns can be launched on the campaign section within NextWeave. So you expand your left navigation bar and click on campaigns and then click on create a new campaign. The first step you need to take is to configure the details of your campaign. So under the configure tab, start by entering the campaign name and then select the campaign type. Now, as you can see, the campaign type is akin to selecting the media type and it can take three formats. The first is an image campaign type. You would choose this option if you, your objective is to share one single image template either via email or through chat or upload it on your website. Now as soon as de you define your media type, you are prompted to select the corresponding template. So for an image media type, you would get a list of the image templates from your private library to choose from. A point to note here is that unlike the quick campaigns, you can't run this sort of campaign for templates from the public library. On the other hand, we have the video campaign type. Now you would select this video type if your objective is to, sh is to share a single video. Once I select the video template, in addition to the video itself, I'm also prompted to choose a thumbnail. Now the list of templates that appear here are exactly the same as my created image templates. The third and final available media type is the video plus image media type. Now this kind of media type would be used if your objective is to share a combination of both image and video templates. So this one essentially allows you to choose three templates. The first is a standalone image template. The second is a standalone video. And the third is another image template. But this time this image template is going to be employed as a thumbnail for the video. So one of the most common applications of, of this particular campaign type is a use case where you would share an image in an email and hyperlink that image to this video. Here's a quick sample. So here I have a personalized email that contains a personalized image. When I click on this image, I'm redirected to a landing page that contains the video that I selected in my campaign. So as you can see, these are more holistic campaign types that use combinations of templates, whereas a quick campaign type would be a quicker application or a more efficient application of a campaign with a single template alone. Based on a media type selection, you might be able to see some additional settings for the image URL and the landing page URL. In these settings, you can determine whether you want your image URL to, con to contain the default URL provided by NextSuite or to have a white label domain or CNAME assigned to it. 
please note that this setting is not available for all plans and you can learn more about this from our knowledge base. For the landing page, which is where the next wave video will be embedded automatically, you can either, either choose the default landing page, which again is hosted by NextWeave, or you could choose your white label domain. Or if you aim to embed this video inside a custom landing page, like your website or sales page, then you can check this box and enter your custom domain name. Once you're happy with your campaign configuration, click on save and proceed to continue. Let's start with the bulk link method. With the bulk link activation method, you can generate hundreds, even thousands of image and video URLs for your selected templates all in one go. All you have to do is supply your personalization data to NextWay via CSV. First, download the CSV template in the format that is compatible with NextWeave. Now I need to populate this template with my audience information. Once your CSV sheet is populated with your audience information, save it. Now back in NextWeave, you need to upload the CSV sheet which contains all of your audience data back into NextWeave. Once your audience data is uploaded to NextWeave, click on the Generate Links button. And then when it's activated, click on download links. As you can see, now your initial uploaded sheet, which contained information for the variables listed, also has two additional columns, one for the video links and one for the image links. So these are actually personalized image and video landing page links that have been generated in one go for my entire list. So a bulk link is a very efficient way to generate multiple links all in one go. But you would need to supply this data to NextWeave. You can then upload this sheet and connect it with your CRM or your email marketing platform and share this information forward using your choice of platform. To learn more about these integrations, do have a look at our knowledge base. Now let's explore our final campaign activation method, which is the URL override method. The variables that have been used in your selected templates are listed below and against them their fallback values. You can change these fallback values but remember to click on save when you confirm them. The launch campaign button is activated. And that's it, the campaign is launched. Now you must be wondering when you should use a bulk link method versus when you should use a URL override method. Unlike a bulk link method, where multiple links are generated for an entire list of audience information, the URL override method generates one single link. You can select an integration platform for which the compatible link will be generated. We have over 70 platforms listed within this dropdown. So that brings us to the end of creating and activating campaigns and the three campaign activation methods. Now let's take a look at how you can manage campaigns that you create on next week. Back within the campaign section, you will be able to see a list of all the campaigns you've previously created on NextWeave. Against these campaigns, you'll also be able to see the created date, the method that you employed, whether it's the URL method, the CSV or bulk link method or the quick campaign, the media types you selected and their corresponding actions. In addition to these, you will see a column for status as well. Now for campaigns that have been successfully launched and are complete, the status will reflect as success. Campaigns that have been abandoned midway through will reflect with the draft status. And finally, the campaigns that are not quite complete, for example, a bulk link campaign for which you've uploaded the data but not yet generated the links, the campaign status will reflect as ready. Based on these statuses, the actions corresponding to each will also differ. You can also take a look at the Show Archive button to see all of your previously archived campaigns. And finally, you can filter campaigns based on the activation method employed. That brings us to the end of this video. We hope you found it useful and can get your personalization journey started right away. Do have a look at our resources so that you can use NextWave to the best of its abilities. These include our YouTube channel which will contain additional tutorials just like this one, our knowledge base which can be found on this URL, as well as our Facebook group which contains a whole community of NextWave users for you to exchange ideas with. 
Thank you so much for watching.